Thanks to all of my generous subscribers on Patreon for supporting my videos. Especially Princess Heather Blossom, Shady Oak Ministries, Sid McConroy, Otto Knight, Sodden Girder, Senko, Janan Kellogg, Cal Christensen, DJ Skywalker, Emerald Spencer, and the Equestrian City Heroverse series. Be sure to check out all their content links in the description and thank them for their support. Okay, okay, fine, I admit it. Running away from home with no money, tools, map, or plan of any kind was a bad idea and it's likely going to set me back even further. <sighs> Maybe I should have gone to Aliora or Thespio or heck even voice instead of no, 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 no. For the last time, I shouldn't be making others deal with my family drama. That's not how the family does things. We handle our own problems. Well then, maybe I should probably quit talking to myself. Ooh, hoo, hoo, but I have to talk to myself, don't I? Yes, it's getting cold and I have to stay warm, and you remember what happened the last time things got too cold, don't you? Well, actually, I don't remember on account of being unconscious. But I've only been walking for three days. I can handle this. Yeah, sure, grass is getting thin and hard and everything is getting cold, and it's only somewhat of an issue that I only have a vague description of which town I'm looking for. But I can't be that far from civilization, right? Wait. Okay, now that's a good sign. So whoever is in that balloon has to be going somewhere and they'll want to keep a pet that's near civilizations, right? It's certainly worth a shot. Now quit talking to yourself. Yaks cordially invite Pink Pony to Yik Slurbert Fest. I'm sorry, what? Yik Slurbert Fest. I have no idea how to pronounce or spell that. How did you get Prince Rutherford to invite you? After my 17th scroll, he picked up what I was putting down. Lovely. So, how long until Pinky causes an international incident? My little pony. Well, I think you should definitely go to Yik Slurbert Fest. Heck yeah. I can't wait to learn more about Yak Sherbert Fest. Fostering friendships is what ponies do. Don't raise it! The official friendship ambassador to the Yaks. Oh! We're in the middle of an official friendship ambassador road trip game. Is it a game where we figure out why you brought a cold-blooded animal into high altitude on your way to the permafrost? This Yak Sherbert Fest, where Yaks get together to stop. Oh, alrighty then. Yak Sherbert Fest is starting to sound fun. Jack's head never been so clear. Yak head didn't have much to clutter in first place. And now if you'll excuse me. Princess! Pink Pony better check self before wreck self. Brawny hope Prince Rutherford never say that again and oh my god, why does he have me talking like this? You hired professional contractors. I've got a few questions so I can learn a little more about Yaktoberfest. Starting with, how the heck has your entire civilization not collapsed yet? That how yaks defeat evil and save world! I'm torn on whether or not I should be very interested or file the story under things that didn't happen. Stop harder! Yaks extra happy! I don't know about happy, but I'm feeling something alright! Ah! Okay, now I'm just feeling cold. Very... Very cold. Is this part of the festival? Pink Pony has too many questions. Brown Pony has question. Can someone dig Brown Pony out? Please? Hello? I think I'm upside down and I don't want to get frostbite again. Hello? Is this because I mispronounced the Sloppy Seconds Fest? Yak did through snow. <sighs> Thank God I'm free and... Oh, son of a bitch! Yaks wait for snow to melt! Sure. Great plan. The snow will melt. At the top of a mountain range. In the great frozen north. Good luck with that. I'm leaving. Gosh darn it! This the right balance of cold and water! Listen here, Kim Jong Yak. This has gotten beyond ridiculous. They could not survive on only eating sand, which is. Get it? Don't worry, Pinky. My puns get that reaction, too. So 
what is the moral of that story? The moral of the story is don't muscle in on my territory, Pinky. It was bad enough when Brony Notion stole my shtick with that awful Dear Princess Celestia series of his. Or C, asking for help is D, go tweak and horrible. Option E, Yak Leader is an idiot. You know who would really enjoy these snow sandwiches? Twilight Sparkle and the other ponies. Normally, lies like this would send me into a burning rage, but if playing the Rutherford's ego stops everyone from starving, then go for it. Prince survived on own. Keep talking, Rutherford. I'll have this place thought out in no time. Pretend there is door. I just slammed it. That's a fun game. Now how about we pretend your fur is inflammable while I simultaneously fix the frozen village and retarded leader problems. I'll show them! I'm finally starting to get feeling back into my body. Don't ruin this for me. We can't bring the yaks any pony stuff! Does a flamethrower count as pony stuff? First, we have to infiltrate the yak compound. Sneaking in will not be easy. That look you give each other when half of your crew can fly and your friend is an idiot. We didn't help fix yak yak is to help. Why the f*** you lying? Pink Pony help yaks without yaks asking. Means Pink Pony understand yaks. Okay, so let me get this straight. The yaks are a large family of people who are liable to get in over their heads with a problem that they refuse to acknowledge to anyone. That's a pretty interesting insight, except this episode just made me relate to the freaking yaks! Now I can officially horn bump! I don't recommend that. And that's why. <laughs> He's actually holding those up a lot better than I expected. Seriously, this is heavy. Never mind. Well, if you're going to be a yak, you'll have to be as strong as one. Alrighty then. There's only so many towns that border on the Crystal Mountains. I just need to find the bakery. You're looking for the bakery? It's just right up the street. Oh, thanks a bunch, sir. Hey, what can I get you? Hold on. You're kind of familiar. Have we met? There is no way that I'm this lucky. You're looking for the bakery? Well, what you need to do is just head up the street about uh, three blocks, and you'll see a little tree stump sitting there. It's kind of in the shape of Celestia, but not really. What you want to do is ignore that and go right past it until you come to a fork in the road. You're going to take the left fork, walk up about 300 yards until you realize you've gone the wrong direction, go back to the fork, take the other one, and then understand there's actually no bakery in this town at all. If you have any comments, critiques, or suggestions, you can send me a message by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to brawnydebates at gmail.com. This video was supported by all of my generous backers on Patreon, especially Princess Heather Blossom, Shady Oak Ministries, Sid McConroy, Otto Knight, Sodden Girder, Senko, Janan Kellogg, Cal Christensen, DJ Skywalker, Emerald Spencer, and the Equestrian City Heroverse series. Be sure to check out their content links in the description. You can also see how you can join them in supporting my channel and what you would get in return. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.